What's up guys? It is Baker from Hauntcast and I am working up a sweat for you guys and I haven't even gotten started yet. Anyway, this prop tutorial is going to include everything from brown latex caulking to a puppet sleeve to a linear actuator to chicken wire. Everything will be included in the supply list. Coming up! Let's get busy, y'all! Hauntcast! Radio for haunters and Halloween fanatics. Oozing with haunt news, reviews, how-tos, interviews. Hauntcast. Subscribe now. Here's the supply list. Pause now and do a screenshot. First up, we need a base. Now, I designed this using Illustrator and cut it out with my CNC. In the show notes, I'll post a link to the JPEG so that you can cut it out using a jigsaw if needed. I use three quarter inch PVC board, but you can also use plywood. Place the clevis bracket on the board and mark the holes with a Sharpie, then drill the holes and insert the one inch screws. Bolt the linear actuator to the clevis bracket, then mount the clevis bracket to the board. Take a one inch diameter piece of PVC pipe, cut it to about eight to 10 inches long, and then drill a hole about a half inch up from one end. Take your arm puppet and then fold over the end just like a pirate boot. We are going to fill up half the arm puppet with flex foam at 10. So mix part A and B. I found just one of these cups of each work perfectly. You want to thoroughly mix part A and B, but be quick about it because this stuff will start to foam fast. So once it's mixed, you want to pour it directly into the sock puppet. I had it pinned between my knees. Then you want to insert the PVC pipe. Make sure that where the holes are angled will line up with the tip of the linear actuator. So they should be on the left and right side, not top and bottom. Slide it over the tip of the linear actuator, line up the holes, insert the one inch bolt and tighten the nut. Wrap chicken wire around the base. It should be the same diameter. Staple the chicken wire to the base. Shape the chicken wire so it looks like an anthill or a molehill. Cover the chicken wire with duct tape and give it a test run to make sure that the shape of your chicken wire will work with the motion of the sock puppet. You could use clay or something else for this part of the project, but I'm a huge fan of Smooth-On's Freeform Air. Always have some around the house. Roll up some Freeform just like a worm. Take a popsicle stick and just make a nice slit down the middle. Don't cut it all the way through, just making a notch. Attach the Freeform Air to the top of the chicken wire. After the freeform air is dry, we're going to cover all of the duct tape with Great Stuff's Pond and Stone Foam. This stuff is the shit. You thought I was going to say great, didn't you? Now, if you like the look of the Great Stuff Foam, which I was almost tempted to do this, was just to paint it and leave it as is. But I really wanted this to look like dirt. I wanted it to be dirt. So I uh, found a great technique. Thank Troy Franz uh, Haunted Hellmouth. Um, I layered brown latex. I just smothered it all over the great stuff foam and then just patted dirt on top of it. Now, some of that dirt's going to fall off, but what you're going to be left with is dirt that's going to be embedded in the latex stuck to the uh, great stuff, and the end result is pretty amazing. And here is the finished product. I will be adding more dirt to the back, so it really looks like it, it just blends right in with the grass, but uh, that's where I have the holes to use the nails to pin it down into the ground to hold it in place so it won't fall over. If you want continuous all access to all of my upcoming video tutorials, 
product reviews, and behind the scenes at the Village Mire, where I expose all of my tips and tricks of my haunt, then continue to back us here on Patreon and encourage a friend to do as well. Thank you for your support and stay scary, my fiends.